Hello everyone, it's been a while again, but in this video, we are going to be talking about admittance. And uh, in admittance, it's basically the inverse of impedance. So we admittance stands for symbol capital letter Y, and that equals to the inverse of impedance. And this is the basis of what admittance is. And now what we will do is essentially um, have a uh, network where our duty is to convert from impedance to admittance. So let's look at the example. So here we have a network and all the values currently are set in impedance values. And I just want to also highlight that this is in per unit, of course. All the values are in per unit. And the objective is to convert everything in admittance. And uh, we're going to obtain essentially a matrix of all the uh, combinations of the admittance. And to do that, uh, we just apply the same formula, which is uh, 1 divided by z, 1 divided by the impedance. And yeah, that's how we are going to determine our admittance network. So let's get to it, shall we? And I'm, prob I'm probably going to have a uh, window popping up I don't know, but uh, let's move on. So um, let's look at the first uh, component. So the first component was 0.25J. So uh, if we take the inverse of that, we'll re we are going to get negative J over 4 here. And then for this line, we have a 0.25J. And if we take the inverse of that, we are going to get the same thing, negative j over 4. And this line is 1, 2. Now let's move on to this line, which is uh, bus 1 connected to bus 4. Uh, the initial impedance value for that is 0 0.4j. And if we take the inverse of that, we basically get negative j.25. Now let's go to the next one, which is bus 1 to 3. For bus 1 to 3, we take the inverse of uh, 0.1j, uh, 0 .1 J, and we're going to get negative j10 here. Now let's move on to uh, bus number 2, and then bus number 2. Uh, bus 2 to 1 is already connected. It's already determined. Uh, let's look at the inductance, which was initially 0.2j, and if we take the inverse of that, we get negative j over 5. Now let's go over to the capacitance that's connected to bus 2 to the ground, and that is, uh, initial impedance for that is negative j4, so the uh, admittance conversion will be negative j.25. Bus 2 to 4 line will, uh, will basically be uh, used to be 0.16j, and if we take the inverse of that, we get 6.25j, or j 6.25. Now if we take, let's go move on to bus 4. The initial value for bus 3 to 4 was uh, 5, was 0.2j, uh, so if we take the inverse of that, we get 5j, or j5, I'm sorry negative forgot that negative uh, the capacitance which is connected to the uh, bus to this bus uh, if we take the inverse of that which was used to be j4 we get 0 j uh, negative j.025 yep now if we look over to the other capacitance which uh, for bus three, which used to be negative, which used to be J four, uh, the admittance for that will be again negative J zero point two five. 
Now we got all our admitted values for each component, and now we're going to develop our matrix. Um, so the ma the admitted matrix, uh, since there uh, are four different buses, then basically we're going to have a four by four uh, admitted matrix, which basically look like this. So uh, I'm going to draw my admittance uh, matrix here. And we have y11, y22, y33, and y44. And we have all these other ones. So this is our 4x4 four four, uh, admittance matrix. And uh, what we need to calculate first are the uh, values of uh, y11, y22, y33, and y44. And basically what they are is that um, each admittance is basically equal to all the lines that are entering the bus. And we assume that um, the current essentially that is traveling in, the, uh, in each line so the current current that enters the line is positive and uh, otherwise if the current uh, is exiting the line then it is negative so this is a pretty important thing to understand because our admittance matrix is essentially like KCL, applying Kirchhoff's current law. So let's do that, shall we? So we have Y11. Uh, let's write it down right here. Y11. Y11 is equal to uh, all the currents that are entering that uh, line. So we have, let's see, negative J4. And then we have negative J4 again, negative J2.5. J negative J10. And finally, we have negative J4. I mean, already highlighted it. So what we get, uh, we basically just sum them up. And we get negative j twenty point two five. So negative for y one one is negative j twenty point two five. And uh, we're just going to go over y one one, y two two, y three three, y four four is the same concept. So to determine what y one two is, we simply take the line that is connected between one and two, and uh, here we have one to two. Now the order is really important because that basically tells us where the current is uh, uh, exiting and entering. Well, um, the first number basically means is that that's where the current is exiting, and the second number is where the current is uh, entering. So what this means is that the current is going from one to two, and because we're taking perspective in uh, the bus one because uh, um, the first number is one, then uh, the current is going to be uh, flipped around. So we have, we simply have negative of negative J force. So Y12 is simply J4. So uh, Y12 is just J4. Same thing, same concept goes for Y13 and Y14. So Y13 used to be uh, negative J10, so now it's going to be J10. Y14 is going to be uh, J2.5. And that's our first row for our uh, uh, admittance matrix. And for bus 2, for Y22, same thing. We take all the impedance, which is negative J4, J6.25, and then negative J0.25 negative j5 and what we get is negative j15 and then y33 will 
be the same thing. And uh, that is uh, negative 15.25j. And then for bus 4, y44 four four is going to be, it's basically going to be negative 1.5j. So um, to sum it up, our admittance matrix is going to be going to look like this. So this is it. Our admittance matrix. I hope you guys understand how admittance work. Basically the inverse of impedance. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the near future.